Hello guys, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Marabytes on your Windows computer. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to be assuming you guys want to download the free version in this tutorial, so it should be pretty straightforward. And, like I said, we're going to jump into it by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial and then you want to just type in Malwarebytes into the Google search box and you want to search it up. Under Malwarebytes there should be something that says free download. Again, it should be underneath Malwarebytes.com here. You want to left click on free download. Again, you can access this just by going to the Malwarebytes website. So underneath for home you want to select Malwarebytes for Windows and then just left click on download free. And just give it a second to begin the download here. It's about 75 megabytes. Okay, so once it's done, I'm just going to left click on the installer one time. Going to get an open file warning. You want to left click on run. If you receive a user account control prompt, to left click on yes. For select language, select the correct language in the drop down box here. Left click on OK. I would suggest left clicking on advanced options. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, you can. And then left click on agree and install. In case once it's done, just left click on finish. And usually they want you to run a first time scan or something along those lines. So we open it up here. And once you're done, if you get any activate trial buttons, they usually will come up by default, but your system will revert back to the default free product after 16 days of the trial. But if you just want to turn that off, which I'm personally going to recommend if you just want to use the free version indefinitely, go ahead and left click on settings and then left click on account details and then where it says deactivate premium trial just left click on that deactivating your premium trial will revert to the free version removing protection other premium features are you sure you want to deactivate left click on yes if you receive the user account control prompt just left click on yes again and that's pretty much it so i do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching this tutorial and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial Goodbye.